Welcome to Nitro Sign. Today, we'll help you navigate through the features and functions Nitro Sign offers, as well as touch on some of the integrations. Let's get started. You're welcomed by Nitro Sign's home screen featuring a navigation panel on the left hand side, a summary of activity in the middle, and account details on the top right hand corner. Let's dive straight into NitroSign's key feature around collaboration, the ability to request and self-sign documents. Begin by clicking Send for Signature to start uploading our documents into NitroSign. We'll be given the option to choose a document from our computer or popular storage platforms such as Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and SharePoint. Keep in mind that NitroSign supports not only PDF documents, but Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and image files as well. In this example, I'll be uploading a document from my local machine. I'll be taken straight to the recipient section as soon as the document has been uploaded. I'll add my client or colleague's name in the recipient section and notice that NitroSign will automatically find the email if it's been used before. Once added, I can add the fields I need. I can also choose to sign this document myself by clicking my name under the recipient section on the left hand side. When creating a signature for the first time, I have the option to draw, type or upload an image of my signature. Say you need to collaborate with more than one person. With NitroSign, it's as easy as an additional click for another recipient. And it even goes a step further by allowing us to choose to send the document to everyone at the same time, or set the signing order, which is perfect for processes and documents which require a sequence of approvals. For now, I'll keep this document intended for a single recipient. I'll click continue at the bottom right hand corner. And in the final step, I'm able to customize my messaging when my recipient receives their notification. I can also CC someone into the finished copy of the document as a final part of my workflow. Something to note is that there's an option to save this workflow as a template for future use, something we'll touch on later. Clicking request signature will finalize the document and send the request. Our recipients will immediately receive an email notification and NitroSign will navigate back to your home screen where we now have one document waiting on a signature highlighted here. I can see the status of my document and send additional reminders through the remind button. When my recipient opens the document, I'll get an email notifying me that they've viewed the document and another notification when they've completed the signature request. This means that there is complete transparency in what stage the document is in. Something to note is that your recipients do not need a NitroSign account in order for them to sign the document. The document will remain securely under the email and in the future, if they'd like to view the document, they can simply create a password for the email to access it. By clicking into the document again, I can view the completed document as well as find out more information on the history by clicking the information button. I can view the document properties as well as an in-depth look at the audit trail from every participant. I can also download the audit trail of this document. You can view the comments of the document as well as look at the analytics. Let's head back over to the other features of NitroSign. Moving on to our tools on the left hand side, we're given some added functionality with the ability to combine, convert, optimize and organize our documents. Along with the cloud storage locations, you can also upload them directly from Microsoft Word and Nitro Pro. So starting your workflow directly from your desktop and moving it straight to collaboration has never been easier. My Documents allows us to upload multiple documents at once, as well as start our requests such as sharing a document. With sharing, this not only allows users to view the document, but also comment on it. Great for reviewing and making changes. 
For any documents that have been shared with me from others, I'm able to view them in the shared with me section. And lastly, our templates. Remember the document we sent for signing? Now I've turned it into a template, which means that I can easily send it to other users simply by adding their email. Perfect for workflows from onboarding and welcome kits to contracts and agreements. The final template I wanted to show you has a few more elements. With custom forms, autofill dates, signatures, checkboxes, and other features, the templates feature and Nitro Sign as a collaboration tool can go as far as you take it. We have resources online to help you with your task and a world-class support team to help you on your document productivity endeavor. That's all from us for now. We'll see you next time.